So if we have the fraction 5 eighths, the 5 on top is our dividend, and the 8 is our divisor. Now we know that we cannot get, uh, 8 does not go into 5, so that's 0. So we put a decimal there, and then we add another 0. So we have 8 goes into 50 6 times, because 6 times 8 is going to give us 48. So we subtract, and we get 2. Now we can go ahead and add a, another 0 to it, bring it down, and now we have 20. 8 goes into 20 twice, so 2 times 8 is going to give us 16. And that gives us 4 as a remainder. And now again we add another 0, bring it down, and 0. And now we know that 5, because 5 times 8 is going to give us 40. And so that we stop. And our answer is going to be at the top, right here. Don't forget your decimal. Now you could have something like 3 fifths, which you convert to a place value if you have it tenths or hundredths. Remember if that was our decimal in front of it, this would be in the tenths place value and hundredths place value. So if we can get this over 10, then we know that that would be our decimal, so 5 times 2 is 10, 3 times 2 is 6, so this is 6 tenths, 0 0.6, that 6 ends in there. So that's your decimal, 0 0.6 tenths. To change it to a percent, we want to come over here, because that's per 100 percent. So we keep going to 100, multiply it by 10, multiply it by 10, so that's 60% or 60%.